All right, welcome back to Xenonauts 2. I know last time I apologized for the delay and that I've gone and delayed again. I've had two just ridiculously crazy weeks back to back pretty much. Um, both of them involved long road trips. Uh, I was at uh, Android Netrunner Nationals, which was a pretty cool deal. Um, there'll be some Android Netrunner stuff coming from the channel just because I enjoyed it so much. But I'm sorry about the delay on Xenonauts 2. And I promise you we're gonna get back into action with regular updates going forward. I very much want to hit day 180 before Milestone 2 comes out so we can start a new campaign with that update because saves won't be compatible and we can see all the new stuff that's been added and compare the new early game. Now, last time we got our new base set up, I've got a name for that picked out, ready to go, but we've got some other stuff that's happening first, so that's gonna have to wait. As soon as I loaded the save, this UFO popped up. Now we also, can I move this? No, I can't. We also have an alien terror site that popped up at the end of the last video. So we're gonna to have to deal with both of those right now. Now my thoughts are as such, we're gonna dispatch our primary combat team from Whitmore Base to deal with the terror site. We're also gonna launch Hitman Squadron from Whitmore Base, uh, sorry, from Bastion Base, both, so Bastion Base of both of those. We're gonna launch from Bastion Base to intercept UFO 13. If we manage to splash UFO 13, we're gonna dispatch the new combat team from Whitmore Base to deal with that crash site. So we'll hopefully get two UFO missions, two missions in this video. Um, but first things first, let's launch our interceptors. We're gonna launch Hitman Team. There has been a small patch since we last video as well. And one of the things they fixed is the missiles not launching correctly sometimes in a mission. That's something that we should hopefully, I have been affected by that a lot in this campaign, so hopefully that's been fixed. Let's launch the aircraft. Now I need to get a team together for this terror mission. We've got two days, 23 hours before it kicks off. I don't see the point in holding out um, the interceptor is going to be finished in 18 hours. It doesn't really matter. In terms of engineering, we're going to get the laser battery upgrade in four hours. That doesn't really do much in the way of um, giving us anything new for our systems. I could get the laser cannon upgrade, which will take one day, 19 hours. That will give me the laser cannon to put on the Mars. Um... We've got time. We've got time to do this. So it's 150,000, which I don't think is very much. The other option here is we could build some more warden armor. It's going to take 19 hours to do that. We don't actually have a lot of warden armor. We're also short on weapons. Um, how long does a rifle take? I think a rifle. I think it's too much of an investment for a rifle. But we could. Hmm. We could go with. I think we're gonna get the uh, laser cannon upgrade under production. That's gonna take one day and 19 hours. And I'm gonna queue up a couple of warden armors. Now, I really want to get the surgical center research. That's high on the priority for this month. But I think with this mission about to launch, I think we actually queue this up next. I think that's what we have to do. But we get this laser cannon. This laser cannon is vital. We should have enough time to do that. In the meantime, we have some air combat to deal with. Let's just get time moving. Oh. Okay, we've got a medium UFO that's been dispatched. Well, I think that's a bigger threat than the small UFO. So what we're going to do is we're going to retask Hitman team onto that UFO. And we're going to have to keep a track of the smaller one. So that UFO just jetted off at incredibly high speed. But we're going to intercept UFO 14. Now, I want to tail until overland. It is a destroyer. I may not have the right loadout for this. And we've got the laser battery upgrade. So that is going to, if I just go down to slow speed and go and have a look at our bases, that now upgrades our missile batteries to laser batteries, which is a much bigger, uh, much better defensive weapon. So that's just me preparing this month for the aliens to attack us. We now need to wait uh, one day, 19 hours. I wish you to check to make sure that terror mission is not gonna pop off before then. We've got two days, 19 hours. So we're golden at the moment. Um, we just have to deal with this air battle. It's kind of the next thing that's going to happen. Now, we're... Oh, damn. So Squadron 1 is out of fuel. I maybe should have just engaged the destroyer over the sea. I didn't really think about that. But uh, Hitman Squadron has to, has to RTB. So we can't do anything about UFO 14 right now until it comes back onto the map, which is not great. Not a great result. I didn't think about that. That was a, a an oversight. Um, we've got our access lift built in Latin, our Latin America base. I haven't named that yet. Um, I actually have a name for the base. I've gone through the ones that got picked out. We didn't have a lot of them. We had a few. Um, so this is 
uh, Peace Walker base, which I think is pretty funny. Especially because I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 4. I've played Metal Gear Solid 5, but not 4. Maybe I need to fix that at some point. Um, but this is Peace Walker base. This will eventually turn into a research and development base. For now, I don't want to spend the money. At the moment, I want to get the radar up and running and focus on some other stuff like the surgical center. Right, we are just so... Hitman 1 and 2 have been refueled. As soon as we see something, we're going to deploy. Okay, that is the medium-sized UFO has come back onto our sensors. We are definitely going to engage it this time. Hitman 1 and 2 are been dispatched. It looks like we're going to get a fight over land pretty quickly. It's going to fight it over the southern tip of Saudi Arabia by the looks of it. I think this is somewhere near where that new Lime City is being built. It's somewhere down here on the south coast. I'm not sure exactly where it is. It's funny that we've got Dubai and Baghdad on the map here, but Riyadh is not shown on the map. Anyway, it's time to engage the destroyer. Wish me luck. Okay, we definitely want to come into this on the sides. Uh, like this, or like this. Probably like this, I think. Coming in from behind, because we are faster than it. Um, let's get our missiles launching to start with. Okay, missiles launched. Afterburner, afterburner. He's heading for Hitman 2. Now, the problem we've got here is Hitman 1 is going to get into his rear weapon and Hitman 2 is going to get into his front weapon. So what I want to do right now is I want to get Hitman 2 to roll left and I want to get Hitman 1 to roll right just to try and stay out of those bubbles a little bit. Okay, Hitman 1 I rolled the wrong way, but Hitman 2 is fine. Let's get those afterburners burning again. Okay, Hitman 2 needs to engage. Hitman 1 still needs to close, to close in. Okay, Hitman 1's in range. We're not taking a lot of damage here. And that's it down. Okay, we've got to shoot down. So we now have a we now have two priority missions on the map. We have a crashed destroyer, um, which apparently has landed in a, bora a boreal land biome, which is fantastic, which is fascinating considering where in the world it has landed. But we also have this terror mission. Now, this has two days and 23 hours before it expires. We could get Whitmore Base's team to dispatch to that. So Whitmore Base has basically all rookies, apart from Morgul and Reku, and they are, there's no equipment here. So we haven't actually had time to develop any equipment. Now, I thought that these soldiers would actually take their equipment with them. They do not. So um, I was expecting us to have uh, Morgul with their light sniper rifle and Reiko with their accelerated rifle. They don't have them. So the question is, is, is this team good enough to deploy to a crash destroyer mission with standard weaponry? Or do we have to let this one go and give it to the government? And I think we're going to have to let it go and give it to the government. We have to get, we're going to have to wait until the workshop is up and running in this base, and then we need to hire some engineers, and then we need to build in some equipment. That's just how it's gonna to have to play out. I don't think we can afford, I think we can afford to send this team on a small UFO shoot down, but not on a medium. That's just what I'm thinking. Let's check on how long we've got for the laser project to complete. We're waiting one day and eight hours. So let's just fast forward time a little bit. Okay, we've got the X-55 Phantom Interceptor research. The X-55 Phantom is the first interceptor aircraft designed specifically for battling alien UFOs. It is faster, tougher, and more agile than the relatively primitive X-25 Angel, while still capable of carrying a similar power payload. Much of the increased performance is a result of the vast power output of the ER-1 Millennium Reactor housed within the fuselage. This could drive the twin turbojet engines at astonishing speeds, allowing the interceptor to cruise at three times the speed of sound. As such, the airframe of the Phantom has been heavily reinforced with alien materials. This prevents it from disintegrating under the tremendous forces generated by flying at such speed, but also makes the aircraft substantially more resistant to enemy fire. We've also hardened the avionics and cockpit electronics to withstand the EMP effect of extraterrestrial energy weapons, allowing these instruments to be used in combat. Our pilots can thus perform sharper turns and more extreme tactical maneuvers without losing control of the aircraft. This makes the Phantom superior to our existing interceptors in almost every way. Although a significant investment of funds and materials would be required to construct one, it would no doubt prove invaluable in the battle for control of our skies. Okay, new research topic needs to be picked up. We've got the Alien Origins project, which will get us another 250,000 a month. Alien electronics, cleaner device. I think this is part of the plot as well. Um, hope planning for armor, explosives, alien plasma weapons will let us take us down the next level of, none of these give us money, do they? Let's get the alien, the, just the alien origins plot research underway so that we can get a little bit more money each month. Um, so Hitman 1 and 2 have been refueled, which is good. How much is it gonna cost us to build an X-55 aircraft, um, 
Phantom. 500,000 credits. 25 Elenium. We, we're definitely not, we're not going to worry about Elenium and Alloys. The money is a problem. Um, but we have room in each of our bases for one of these, and then we can... Actually, we don't have room in this space, but we do have uh, room for... Oh, we don't have one in Whitmore base either. Okay, so we need to build another slipway, and then we need to slowly replace our aircraft, which is going to be quite difficult. Honestly, that's a bit tricky. But let's keep ticking time forward. Um, so that's the... There's, there's stuff happening elsewhere that we can't see. We'll have to get top of that soon. Latin America is the concern. How long do we have left on this? One day, 12 hours. We're still going to be fine for the laser. Okay, we found UFO 13. Uh, we're going to launch interceptors on that. So these guys aren't fully repaired. I think that's fine to take on a small UFO. Um, and we've got a storeroom at Bastion, which is great because we're no longer going to have to worry um, about it uh, running out of space every time we complete a mission. Okay, that UFO 13 is so fast. It is so fast. We can't intercept that. Unless we catch it landed, basically. Does it keep... Okay, our laser cannon is done. Um, part of me really wants to get our next aircraft under construction. We do need to get these pretty soon. But I th do think we need to think about the fact that we are lacking weapons and armor for our teams, and I think that is essential. So we can now take 12 soldiers on the Sky Ranger, on the, on the Dragonfly. 12 soldiers and one Mars combat unit. We have seven suits of Warner Warden armor. We need to build five more. And I think that's a no-brainer. We need a full suits of armor for everybody. So we're going to get five suits of Warden armor for 25,000 queued up. That's our first step. Then we're going to get their guns sorted. But that's all I'm going to worry about right now. It's time to do the terror mission. That's not the terror mission, the abduction mission. That's our next step. We've got 23 hours to get this done. I want to just to go to it now. So what I'm going to do, first of all, we've got a name for Dragonfly 1. I'm going to do the suggestions that were made in the comments last time. This is going to be Cheshire. I quite like that name. Um, I need to fill this aircraft up and build a team. And it's going to be tricky because we don't have all the equipment we need. But I actually, hmm, thinking about it, this is going to take four days. Each suit of armor takes 19 hours. And this expires in 23 hours. I could actually get one suit of armor made. We have to be really on top of it. Okay, that's it. We now have less than one hour to complete this mission, so I'm going to get on that. I'll be back with you as soon as I've got a team put together. Catch you in a second. All right, I've got the team together. Just very quickly, we've got Roach and uh, Warmaster coming back as our primary assaults. Um, we've got Tin Man coming in with a heavy laser cannon and a rangefinder at the front of the aircraft. Then we've got Game of Kane and Disco Caddy as snipers. Disco Caddy has a crazy accuracy and crazy TU, which should make them very useful here with matches burners are heavy in between. Then we've got T Ram, we've got Lin, we've got U and Knight, and we've got uh, as our rifleman. I just noticed I need to fix uh, Lin's armor because we are out of suits of armor. So Lin's going to have to go in with defender armor for this mission. Um, then we've got Jay and Brat coming in as our assault. So we need to give Brat a shotgun. This is one of the problems I was talking about is that we're actually out of equipment for a lot of our soldiers. Um, and a blocked in coming as explosives. Now, something we do should have access to that I haven't used yet. Maybe not. I thought we were recovering alien plasma grenades, but maybe I need to research them before I can use them. Um, because we definitely have them in our inventory. Let me just make sure everyone who needs armor has armor. So you should both be in assault armor. Um, I don't think Game of Kane needs warden armor. Neither does Disco Caddy. Um, that frees up two suits of Warden armor. Um, I'm going to give one of them, I need to give both of them to our assaults, it, really. They're the ones who are going to be in a little bit more danger. Um, now, one thing I can't do is let Jay have a movement penalty, because Jay is already um, struggling for um, movement. And I think that means I've got one suit. Does Jay have a... Yeah, I've got one suit for... There we go. That's pretty much everyone in the right type of armor. So let's dispatch the team and let's take on this terror mission. Sorry, this abduction mission. Now I need to make sure we get here. As long as we launch the combat team before the mission expires, we should be fine. And let's see what we're dealing with. I, I'm a bit concerned this could be quite tricky. It's a new month. The aliens have probably updated their, their tactics. We might be dealing with something a little bit more scary. Um, we'll see if this team makes it back in reasonable fit. If they do, we'll divert them onto the crashed 
destroyer. Otherwise, we're going to let the government take this. And then once we've got our oh, another nanotech up and running in Whitmore, we'll get them outfitted with the equipment they need. All right, here we go. I will see you on the battlefield. Here we go. For those of you that don't remember, abduction mission, the only victory condition is to rescue five civilians from abduction tubes before the timer expires. We should have six turns to do that in on this difficulty, which will make this very difficult. I'm also concerned that this is month three, which means that the aliens are probably stepping their game up again. This LZ is atrocious. Um, there are no sightlines out of here at all. We're very boxed in, which is great for dismounting the Sky Ranger. It's not ideal for really anything else. I think we're going to bring you a knight here, jump up this ladder and see what's on the other side. That should give me an idea on whether it's worth pushing in this direction or just locking it down. Okay, no sign of any aliens. There is a tube, though. So that does mean that this direction is probably worth moving in. Um, what we can do is we can send Brat this way. Brat's got a standard shotgun, but we can get them to start clearing over here. We need to be really careful about leaving units exposed. Um, I don't want to take any risks on a mission like this. I don't even know if this is a safe position because somebody over here could shoot to here. What's around the corner? There is a box here. Only nine to you. I want to bring Brad back around the corner. I'm not going to leave them hanging out in the open here. I don't like that position. Um, this wall here is actually quite interesting for you and Knight because we could potentially jump down here if we can confirm that this area here is clear, which is probably what Warmaster is going to have to do. So let's bring Warmaster. We're also going to worry about down here. If there's an alien standing here, we're in trouble. So we kind of need to first scout that out with Tin Man. Let's bring Tin Man to here. Looks clear enough over here. Let's bring Team Tim Man to this position here. And step out. Look this way. And I want Tin Man on the corner. Let's not see you really to move forward. I don't want to leave Tin Man in the open at the end of their turns at all on this mission. I want them to be able to um, finish in cover because they are going to be targeted by the aliens. No sign of any aliens so far. What I really need Warmaster to do for me is to confirm that there's nothing back here. Um, to do that, they're going to have to finish their turn here. Look this way. Okay, that is all secure, and we found another tube. Um, no aliens around these two tubes is very concerning, but that means I can get you a knight and just jump them down here, which is actually a really nice place to get them for next turn. Okay, um, and let's bring them to this wall facing this way because I want them to sweep around next turn with... Um, Rat, clear this area and get this. And that's two tubes. We just need to make sure there's no aliens here. We can't assume this area is clear. Right, this side of the map. Let's do the same thing. Let's get T Ram out and we'll jump T Ram up on top of this crate here and see what they can see. That just gives me the most view, I think. Okay, we have an alien here. Um, just looks like him on his own. I've got an 82% chance to shoot him, but only 9 TU after I do that. And I don't know if that's enough to turn around and jump down. Um, so 38 plus 47. I think that's exactly, is that exactly 9? It's a little bit late, so I need to just count this carefully. It should just be just enough to you. If I count this wrong, though, I've made a huge mistake and TRM is going to die. Counted it right. Okay, good. I was worried that my quite tired brain was uh, going to make that mistake. We'll bring Jay down to here. Jay can sweep the corner next turn, but they're going to finish on the corner here. Um, snipers, I kind of want to move up with the squad. I don't want to get them stuck sitting on top of a platform somewhere, although this might be a good position for Game of Kane this turn. I want to maybe set up a gun here. Let's bring um, Roach up to here. Step out. Check. This looks clear. I want to actually clear this area with Roach as well because they have a lot of TU. Okay, we've got no aliens in this immediate vicinity, um, which means I could probably put a gun here and there's no angle on this, but I could blow the wall. Also, I've just discovered there's a pod here. I can see it in the map there, so that's good to know. Let's stack Roach. Now, there's a chance there could be something up here. Roach still has a lot of TU. Oh, we discovered another alien in the back, okay. Nothing up here, so I think I can stack Roach 
basically behind these containers here, which is a safer position than here or here. Well, this is probably safe, but this is probably not safe in case there's something standing over here that might have a shallow angle into this. All right. Game of Cain up to here to jump up next turn and shoot, or I could finish their turn here where they've got cover. Okay, and then we're gonna put, I'm gonna put Matches Burn here again where they've got cover. But they're looking into this area here and they have shots next, and that does mean they can be shot at. So I need to be careful about that. All right, we've still got Disco Caddy. I think this is a pretty good position for Disco Caddy right now. Looks like over to this direction here. And if anything comes in this direction, they will have a shot on it. Um, Tin Man has TU left, but I don't want to push their luck, so they're just going to finish up here. That leaves me with Lin. I think Lin's going to go up to support Tin Man. They're going to hold for this turn, and I'm going to bring Bogdan this way as well. So we've identified three, um, we've identified three pods, and we found two aliens. Doesn't look too bad so far. I always find deploying from the Sky Ranger very tense. I'm gonna take some fire here. Damn, these plasma plasma pistols it looks like they're packing are a problem. Because they're just destroying yellow cover in one hit, it seems. So cover is becoming less of a thing. That's definitely what that feels like to me. Alright, I don't think TRM has a shot. No, not from there. Or from there. Probably not from anywhere because of this intervening wall. Um, Roach will have a shot, but I'm worried about Roach getting shot. But let's see what the cover's like here. Also, let's just check this way quickly. Nothing there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any cover. From here, we've got a 37 times 3, and then we can just run to the wall here. I'm going to take that shot and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened, but we got the suppress. Let's just put you out of the way, because I'm going to fire off the machine gun, I think, and I don't want you to get suppressed. So I've got a 12 times 10. I've got a 22 times 3. I'm gonna use the, if I use this, we'll have 18 TU left. I've got this, got 36. I'm gonna use this. Okay, that was terrible. That's you in cover. Game of Cain? No shot from here. Wait, I didn't select Game of Cain. 86% from here. I could also jump Game of Cain up here. Get a little bit of uh, recon. Turn and shoot him. That would only leave me with 5 TU though, and I don't want to stay up there with 5 TU. Let's take this shot. Okay, that alien is down. We can now start moving in on this pod. We have to be very, very careful. I'm very concerned about there being aliens up here that we can't see. There's also an alien back here that has disappeared. Also, here's the other end of the map, so it's quite a small map. Let's bring Jay to the corner. Step out. Look. Okay, there's the alien that ran away. Can I bring Jay to here? I can. That's a good position. That's nice and in cover. Okay, these two next turn are going to move in on this. Let's find out what's going on over here. You and I, come to here, step out, turn. No aliens. Can we get Brat to this pod? With seven TU left, we can. What about here? And then to here, I think that's a move they could make. I'm a little bit worried about an alien being standing here. But that's not bad, really, at all. All right, let's get you and I to move up to here. That's one pod cleared. Still no sign, real sign of it, of um, alien defense. I, I need to check this. I, I'm not. I'm not going to leave you and I here without having checked this passageway. No aliens. Okay. I'm very concerned about the lack of aliens. There should. I feel like there should be more than this. I don't think it's worth running Warmaster out into the open. What Warmaster can do is blow one of these walls if I need them to. Let's just check around here. Yeah, we've got an alien over there. Let's bring Tin Man around the corner. Surprise that there's no aliens revealed here. Also, there's a tube there. I was about to say there are no tubes. If I put you here, do you have a shot on him? Uh, not with your standard gun, but you do have a... No, you don't have enough TU to shoot at him from here. With your uh, normal shot, 71% chance. Let's take that hit. You're in cover. And you got a hit. That was good damage, I'm pretty sure. That was nice. 
It's good to see this thing hitting at the range. That was a cool looking gun, by the way. I haven't talked about that yet, but when I was building the model, when I was building the unit in the um, pre-mission screen, it didn't show the laser cannon. It just showed a normal cannon when I put it on. And I was really disappointed that we wouldn't get a cool laser cannon model, but we have got one and I think it's well worth it. It's important that my, my tanks look awesome. All right, we're gonna put Lynn cover here. And we're gonna bring Bogdan. Can I get Bogdan here? No. What about over here? Yeah, let's bring Bogdan over here. We also need to be concerned about Warmaster's positioning. If I put Warmaster here, they should be pretty safe. Uh, who hasn't acted yet? We still haven't got anything from Disco Caddy. I don't think Disco Caddy can get a shot on this alien this turn. Like, if I got them up here. They would have enough for an aimed shot, which they would not be able to hit with. If I got them up here, they wouldn't have enough for a shot. I'd have to put them somewhere like this to get the angle right, and then, like, the TUs are insane. Could finish our turn up here. I think that exposes too many units to fire. I think I might just finish their turn here. Mm, or I think I'll finish their turn here. I think they're safe enough there. There's just not a shot for them right now. Uh, who's this? Lynn's fine. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So this team over here, if I get T-Rem here, T-Rem doesn't have a shot on this guy because this is a two... This 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 is a big problem, this unit here. Um, I could put T-Rem here, and T-Rem would have a shot. No. From here, they would have a shot. Not this turn, potentially. I could take a snapshot, then run into cover. That would leave me with 17 TU. I think that's okay. I'm be a little bit exposed. Then just run to here and crouch just in case something sees you. You're good, you're good, you're good. Game of Kane's good, okay. One alien down, no, no hits yet. I'm taking it nice and slowly. We have four turns left after this, I believe. Okay, there's another alien. Lynn tried to take the shot. I appreciate the attempt. Okay, first things first, I want to move in on this pod here. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's bring Brat to here and see what they see. It's looking pretty good. Can I get Brat to here for full coverage? Okay, they haven't got enough TU to make it to the pod, but they can get up to here. There's another pod here, and we've spotted an alien right at the back there. I'm not too worried about that. This forklift is very good cover. You and I can get here, but at least with eight TU, or I could put them in cover here with 16. Or here with 12, which is quite a nice position. They've discovered an alien in the warehouse. This is still a good position for Brat. For you, you and Knight. Next turn, we can we can take this um, and start taking out this alien here. Now we have to deal with this alien here. I'm wondering if Tin Man has a shot. They do. 96% chance to hit. I don't think I can turn that down. Okay, that alien is down and no chance of mesmerization. Um, if we leave Tin Man here, they're pretty well protected, and they have a reaction shot for anything crossing this area, which I'm pretty happy with. Let's get Game of Kane up on the roof here. Take a shot at this guy. Four turns left. You need to keep that in mind. There's two aliens here. Let's go for the one that hasn't got any armor. Hit him, but didn't kill him. And we've got Overwatch return fire. I should have been aware of that. Let's jump you back down. Please? Not enough TU. I was expecting to have enough TU to do that. That's very bad for Game of Kane. We need to do something about that. We need to smoke these guys now or Game of Kane's gonna die. Let's see if Lin can take out this one. He's in the open. Okay, he's dead. It just leaves the elite one in the armor. Bogdan can throw a smoke grenade. From here, they've got 0% chance. If I move them here, might be too close to the wall. If we put them here instead. Yeah, 100% chance to put smoke here. Each tile of smoke the alien shoots through uh, makes the shot harder. He smoked. Let's get you back into cover. Right, that's that dealt with. Now to look at this side of the battlefield. I want T-Ram to step back out for me and look for the alien. No sign of him, which is not ideal. We're going to get um, Roach to come and grab this. But let's clear the area first with Jay. Okay, no sign of the alien. Okay, that's two cleared. This is a good position, lots of cover. This is very tense. 
Um, all right, so the alien's probably somewhere back here. Not a lot I can do about that right now. That sting there, that drum sting, it was uh, a bit scary. All right, so let me just check this. We've rescued two civilians. We have a third civilian here, a potential fourth civilian here, and a fifth civilian here. So we really just need to push out a little bit. I think that means I can put matches burn here. And what matches burn can do is clear this area for our shotguns next turn. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn around to breach through here. So if Roach is enough to you, I'm actually going to bring Roach back into this area here. Um, this, the civilians making this a bit hard, but I think we can use the civilian as a blade of cover, honestly. There you go, you're safe there. Um, and we'll start working. You might as well turn around, uh, Game of King, since you can't do anything else. Um, we'll start working, making a hole in the fence here to capture this. We'll set up a base, like a firing position here. Keep the aliens here busy. Keep this alien here busy. Try and capture these. So this might be the most difficult one to get at. Um, who still hasn't acted yet? Warmaster hasn't done anything yet. Oh, there's, there's one right here. Warmaster could potentially get that this turn. So if I move to here, do a snapshot on the wall here. Very nice. All right, now we just need to get this one and this one, and that makes this mission a lot easier. Um, oh, this guy's got a, a hat on. We're, we're happy with Tin Man being where it is. Yep, you're all good. You're good. Disco hasn't done anything yet. Thinking about what to do with, dis with Disco. We just go here just to cover this flank. I think that's actually a pretty good position. Three civilians left. Let's just crouch Disco because they're in cover. You're good. You're good. Gamma Kane's stuck. Matches, I'm happy to leave you at the moment. You're good. You're good. T Ram. Um, I was kind of leaving T Ram here on Overwatch, but it's not a great position for them. We can actually pull back. What I'll do is I'll get T Ram to hold the corner here. Um, and then we're going to pull J back next turn. Oof, that was a good shot. That wasn't a good shot. I was hoping the range would would uh, stop headshotting you and I, please. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, that's the shot through the smoke. Second shot through the smoke. Both of them missed. Okay, the smoke was the right choice. Another alien in the back there. Don't want to see that. Civilians don't get killed. Can you just run into Cheshire, please? It's bleeding, but hasn't panicked. All right. First things first, I'm going to see if we can head cap this alien. Hit him, but didn't kill him. You and I, take a shot on him. He's down, and take a shot on him. Okay, that's all you can do. Now we're going to get Brat to run forward and rescue this civilian. Um, I'm going to put Brat back into heavy cover, I think. All right, one civilian left to rescue, which is this civilian here. So what I'm thinking is we blast a hole in the wall, run through, grab the civilian, and that should be mission complete. I think that's all I need to do. Um, we don't have enough TU for Roach to do it this turn, but next turn Roach could run out and do it. Which means that I can do something different with a few of my units. So Game of Kane has a shot on this guy, and he can jump down this time. Cool. Um, Lin should also have a shot on him. No, he's been blocked by... So his positioning's quite good. He's hidden himself behind the truck. What can Gun Tank do for me? 47% chance. Not great. We'll take the shot. A fantastic work, Tin Man. I'm very impressed. Let's get Tin Man in cover. Very, very happy with Tin Man's performance this mission. It's been... Pretty fantastic. Okay, this side is clear. Let's get Jay out of the danger zone. We'll bring Jay up here just in case we need them, but we're probably not going to. Bogdan, I know I haven't done anything with you yet. You're here just in case I need you. Lin, you're fine where you are. T-Rem, you're fine where you are. Matches burn, you're good where you are for the moment. Warmaster, there is an alien here. You can't really do anything about it. I mean, I could put you in cover here, and that would give you a... 0% chance to hit him. That's actually not a bad ambush position. If he comes out, you've got a shot on him. Alien in the back there. It says you've got a shot on him now. 
Good shot on this guy. But no range. Okay. Just do what you can do. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Just making sure there's nobody obvious I've missed here. Okay. Should be able to complete the mission objective next turn, which is good because it looks like there are a lot of aliens. I can't believe that just happened. Just head cap Lynn three times in cover. I should have thrown a smoke grenade. I could have thrown a smoke grenade. These plasma pistols. The armor I have is not good enough anymore. At least we've completed the mission objective this turn. I can't believe I've just lost another rifleman. We need training centers. We need surgical centers. This is this is getting really bad. Warmaster 45 is fleeing. That means they've dropped their gun. Which means we're not going to be able to recover it from this mission. Unless somebody else picks it up. I could get bogged in to do that. I'm not sure if the mission ends when they get here. So not when they get here. When the um when I when I grab this. Right, let's clear this wall. He's here. Let's see if we can do something about him before we do anything else. You've got a jump down. You do have a jump down. Excellent. Well, he just destroyed the whole container. Shooting through the um, smoke is pretty hard. I said very obviously. Okay, what else can I do about this guy? I don't think he's got a shot because he's been shot at and hasn't returned fire. Uh. Running this is very dangerous. Yeah, that's mission complete. We just have to hold out now. Uh, Roach can't get back into cover. Because I pushed too hard there. What we can do is we can put Matches Burn here. And Matches Burn can take a triple shot on this guy. Didn't kill him, but we now got the suppression. Roach, what am I going to do with you? Oh, can I get you? You can't run back here. Can't run back here. These aren't cover against this guy. I can put you. I can't even put you here. Who do I still have that's active? T Ram. Could I get T Ram to get to here and flashbang this guy? It's a bit of a hail mary. Oh, T Ram just found that alien that we lost. T Ram could no longer complete that. Complete that that item I wanted them to do because this alien is going to stop them. Tyrion needs to take out this alien. Jay has a flashback. Okay, they're flashed. So we got suppressed and suppressed. Best I can do right now. But you would cover here. Protects you from shots from him, but leaves you open to shots from him. Putting your cover here kind of protects you from both, but it's not a good position. Got speed, Jay. Matches burn, you're done. Tin Man has no shots left. Let's put them in cover. Lin has shots, but no shots on him. I'll keep Lin open for any fire if he moves. Warmaster is fleeing. Bogdan needs to crouch. Uh, actually, Bogdan needs to run back into cover, but he can't do that because I crouched him. I put Bogdan there to grab the gun, thinking the mission would end, but it hasn't. Disco Caddy may have a shot here. If anyone steps out, they do. I can move Disco Caddy here. Obviously, we've just discovered that this position will kill you, but Disco Caddy could potentially kill somebody first. Get some revenge, maybe. Yeah, that's one more down. Let's bring Brat up. If I put Brat here, they actually have a reaction shot if anyone steps out of the garage. Which will be valuable to me. Okay. Sad that we've lost a soldier, but... If there goes the cover, we can't leave Disco Candy there any longer. There's an alien back there. To destroy that crane. I was really hoping the flashbang would prevent that from happening. Shot a Bogdan. Bogdan's cover gone. Oh, damn it. I tried so hard. We just lost Jay. Just thought, um... 
I can't remember who we just lost. Um, Odin's Fling, that's actually f Oh no, Bodger's dropped both, both the guns now. That's the grenade launcher and the uh, shotgun. Okay, we need to fall back. We've lost two soldiers. Um, one of them was really good. So we've lost you and Knight, and we've lost Odin's Running, and we've lost Roth's Roach. Roach has already survived death once. I don't think Roach is going to survive death again. All right, let's see if Tin Man can get a shot on this alien. Never mind. Let's see if Game of Cain has a shot for me. We have to survive just this turn, so we should be good after the end of this turn. I'm going to treat it seriously, though. Game of Cain has been mesmerized, of course, because that's how the aliens work. Take this. Asshole. He's dead. Am I getting a little bit vindictive? Am I getting a little bit tilted? I don't think I'm getting tilted. I'm just getting, just getting frustrated. Maybe that's tilting. Hit but not killed. Lin is still active. He did kill this alien, though. Is there much Lin can do from here? Oh, War Master's back in action. Let's just run War Master to safety. Bogdan, I can't do anything with. Tin Man's done. Matches Burn is done. Jay is still active. Jay could throw a grenade here. It doesn't really do much for me. I don't think Jay can throw a grenade all the way to here. This is the first they can throw a grenade. And yeah, they can't get over the wall if I put them that close. They can't get to there and have enough TU to do it. The only thing I can think to do is to throw a grenade at this guy, but it's not going to deter him unless, unless for some magical reason it destroys the truck, which it's not going to do. No, just hit him. At least he took some damage. I think that's everybody. Disco Caddy is still active. Um, let's pull them back into some more cover. And Brat, stack up on the wall here. So if anyone steps out, they get shot, but otherwise you're safe. Then we just have to make it through this turn and it's mission complete. No, it is just mission complete. Okay. So we lost two soldiers right at the end there. Okay. We did indeed lose two Xenonauts. Both are dead. Lieutenant Roach and Corp Captain Ewanite killed in action. Losing Ewanite is pretty severe, honestly. It's pretty bad. Apparently none of the locals survived, but I guess they didn't start on the map. We killed seven of 16 aliens, which is a lot. Um, honestly, that's just an incredibly hard mission. And I may have not played it perfectly due to being tired, but it was still very, very hard. Now I did say I was gonna potentially hit this. We're definitely not gonna do that. We actually need to recruit some more soldiers um, at this base. So let's get a couple of soldiers with decent accuracy. Um, we'll get Carol Watson here, looks okay. Um, and Mar Monica Martello here. And we'll get a couple with decent TU. Uh, Kowalski here, looks alright. Better over. Uh, not the best candidates. We grab Jakob as well. Just need to pick up our numbers a little bit. We definitely need to get the surgical center, we definitely need to get a training center. In fact, I might just lay down a training center at both bases now so it's done. All right, 250 grand, it's not amazing. It has no adjacency except with itself. And we're not gonna be building any more research labs or anything in this base, so I don't mind putting them over here. I'm gonna put one in the other base too. It's got a lot of money, but it needs to be done before. I, I need to stop procrastinating on whether or not we're gonna have a, a training center. We're gonna have a training center. Um, we'll put it all the way over here. That's a lot of money, but I, it's it's becoming more and more apparent to me how important having one of these, these are. All right, let's see what the next tragedy is going to be. Let's speed time up. That was really tough. Okay, we got, we got some money there. Uh, nanotech worship is done at Whitmore Base. So hang on a second. Let's go back to normal time. Um, Whitmore Base um, has a... Uh, the carnival, which has a nine slots in it. So to start with, I want we need we need equipment for nine units. So I'm thinking. Oh damn, we need to send over nano. Okay, hang on. We need to go to base stores. Uh, we need to transfer a bunch of 
um, Alanium and Alien Alloys. So let's send them, let's send them to like 150. Oh, we should just go a little, this is, this is fun to hold down. No, I'm taking my finger off there. Send them 150 and, a, and say 75 Alanium. Get them started. They're on their way over. I think it'll take a couple of days for them to arrive. Uh, item and transfer. Okay. So we need to wait for those items to arrive before we can start building stuff in Winmar. Should have thought that through. I'm guessing the game will tell me when that has happened. And one's back in action. That's good. Okay. We've got a new staff at Bastion Base. They need to be named. And I will do that next time. Is that stuff transferred yet? Yes, it has. Okay, I didn't get a heads up that it had transferred. So what I'm thinking is we need to get weapons for everybody first and then get armor. So I want uh, one accelerated sniper rifle. We're going to go with two accelerated... We want three accelerated rifles. And two... One, acceler one laser machine gun. Look, I'm looking at how much money this has cost me, but I need it. And... Um, two laser shotguns. I need to hire engineers. Right, that's what that was telling me. Okay. That's going to cost me 179000 Now I need to hire engineers. How much is that going to cost me? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we need to cancel some of our... What are we building then? We need to cancel... We'll just start with this. We need to get the engineers up and running. Okay. It's going to cost me $125,000. we are now out of money. Um, we've got one accelerated sniper rifle. Let's get one. Actually, we're going to go with laser rifles because this is the dumb, not the dumb team, but this is this is not the advanced team. These guys are not as good as our other soldiers. So we've got three of those. That's what we're going to have to start off with for them. All right, let's unpause. We're really tight on cash. We can sell some stuff in a minute if we need to. That's all the warden armor done. We actually need more. So we now have six suits of warden armor. And we need to have... Uh, what's 30? We need to we have 12 suits of warden armor. How do I only have six suits of warden armor? That's crazy that I only have six suits of warden armor. Is that because... Hang on, if I take everyone off the... Um, off here... Okay, I have 10 suits of warden armor. I need to build two suits of warden armor. That makes more sense. All right, let's sell some more stuff. We don't need Scion Corpses. We don't need Sectoid Corpses. We don't need seven... Mm, we do need Plasma Grenades. Plasma Weapons we need for research as well. But that's not a lot I can sell, to be honest. We're really tight on cash, but can I build another two suits of Warden Armor with that? Just enough for one suit of Warden Armor. Okay. This is bad. We've, we've hit a really bad funding bottleneck, which is probably my fault for building three bases. And we have a small UFO. Okay. It's in the Northeast United States. We're going to see if Eagle Team can intercept. It might be too fast for Eagle Team. We'll find out. It's very quick. We've got another UFO coming in down here. We're going to have to launch Hitman Team on it. Hitman team are fully repaired and armed. I don't think Eagle Squadron are going to catch, going to catch this UFO. Uh, yeah, they can return to base. Uh, we have a land site observer. Okay, so that's what happened to that UFO. Um, we have seven hours to react to this. There is a UFO here. What I would like to do is find out what the result of this engagement is, and then we'll arrange teams. We only have seven hours. Um, it's not a lot of time. Not a lot of time at all. We can send a team here, but it's landed. Which means it's probably going to have to be the A-team. But the A-team are really badly injured. We can send the B-team, but they're badly equipped. And we have seven hours to do with that. I, I would really like to see what happens with this UFO and then make a decision. Because I think I can sell it um, 
if we shoot it down and then go after the observer, which should help with panic in North America. Let's see what Squadron 2 has for us. Okay, I want to tail it so it's over land. It's a destroyer. So it's another big UFO. And we're going to commence the attack. Okay, coming in from this angle here. Boost. Boost. Should be taking torpedoes for fighting destroyers. Okay, let's roll Hitman 1 to the right. Hitman 2, there's not much you can do. I'm trying to get Hitman 1 to roll again. Okay, Hitman 2 is about to come up the after runner now. go down really quickly once we get the armor down. They won't we don't take too much damage either. Okay. So we shot that down. We can sell that for 125,000, which we may need to do. So I guess here's the question. For next time, which of these do we focus on? Do we go after the crash destroyer because we'll get more equipment and parts from it? Or do we go after the crash, the landed observer because it's more important for mission? I'll leave that up to you to choose our next mission. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I'm not going to play another mission right now. There will be a lot more signals going forward. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.